Welcome to the Squawker YouTube channel. I'm Niall McCorn, and at Squawker we love nothing more than diving through all the credible transfer reports and putting them into one easily digestible video so you can watch this and move on with your life. Nicolas Pepe is at the centre of the summer transfer market, according to Telefoot. They report that Inter Milan have bid 75 million euros for the versatile forward, but that he and his club Lille are yet to agree on a plan. Pepe is playing for the Ivory Coast in the African Cup of Nations, so any concrete decisions for his future will probably be decided following the conclusion of his involvement in that tournament. Goals Italian correspondent Romeo Agresti has a report on Adrian Rabio agreeing to join Juventus on a 7 million euro a year deal plus bonuses. If this latest Juventus free transfer deal goes through, it won't affect Juventus's pursuit of Paul Pogba, according to the Italian journalist. At the time of recording, the latest on Pogba is still Di Marzio's recent report that the Frenchman would favour a return to Italy over a new adventure in Spain with Real Madrid. Dominic Fifield in The Guardian reports officials from Manchester United and Crystal Palace are meeting on Monday afternoon in a bid to agree a fee for Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Simon Stone at BBC Sport also reports similar, that the clubs are meeting and Manchester United are hopeful. Probably by the time you're watching this video, details of that meeting will have emerged and the deal will either be progressing or dead in the water. Either way, let us know what you think about this transfer and the player in the comments below. On the managerial transfer front, Newcastle United have announced that Rafa Benitez will leave the club on June the 30th, having failed to agree a new deal. The news will be a massive disappointment to Newcastle fans, who've seen some on-the-field stability return to the club under the Spaniard. Widely reported rumours are that he's been offered a 12 million euro a year contract with Chinese Super League club Dalian Yufang. Dutch journalist Mike Vervey tweets that Ajax had three top targets for this summer. First up was Quincy Promes, who as we record this is expected to be announced by the Amsterdam club imminently. The next on their list is apparently PSV forward Steven Bergwijn. There's no mention of a name for the third target though. Let us know in the comments who you think that could turn out to be. Bilt have published an opinion piece on Leroy Sane's potential move from Manchester City to Bayern Munich. Whilst the German outlet might not be the most reliable source of transfer news overall, they do seem to have improved lately. In their latest Leroy Sane report, they speculate four reasons why the deal is in their words looking increasingly unlikely. It does feel a little like they're treading water, waiting for movement on the transfer, and at this point it's hard to tell which way it will go. But history suggests when a deal is discussed so openly as Sane to Bayern has been so far this summer, the eventual conclusion will perhaps be for the German winger to play in the Bundesliga next season. Daniele De Rossi, who's left Roma after 18 seasons with the club, will reject offers from the MLS and Boca Juniors to stay in Serie A. That's according to a tweet from Fabrizio Romano. João Felix to Atletico Madrid would seem to be a done deal. To everyone, that is, beside Felix's current club, Benfica. The article we've linked in the description from AS speculates that this is down to an accounting issue for Benfica, with them wanting to push the sale into next season's financial year, beginning on July the 1st. Romeo Agresti is back with talk that Juventus are engaged in total pressing for Matisse de Ligt. A scan of recent reports from across Europe reveals a current consensus that a straight-out battle exists between Juventus and PSG for the Dutchman, with the Turin club well ahead. Retired manager Fabio Capello weighed in with his views on the deal, saying if Juve sign De Ligt, then it's over, again, and we can go directly to the season after. This might be a tad overreactionary, but you can see his point. If new Juve boss Maurizio Sarri has Cristiano Ronaldo and De Ligt lining up for him next season, can another club realistically challenge them in Serie A? New Inter boss Antonio Conte would say yes, perhaps too Carlo Ancelotti at Napoli. Arsenal have been told to break Celtic's record sale fee to bring fullback Kieran Tierney in. That's according to the Evening Standard. That would mean spending more than the £19 million the Glaswegians recouped from selling Moussa Dembele to Lyon. The report also briefly mentions the deals that are in progress to try and bring in Yannick Carrasco and Ryan Fraser, describing them as stalling but not dead. Wilfred Zaha would seem to be unlikely in the standard's eyes due to his high asking price of £80 million and Arsenal's limited summer transfer budget. 
Danny Alves announced he's leaving PSG this summer via Instagram, provoking speculation on where he might play next. The most interesting theory perhaps being a potential return to Barcelona, as tweeted about by Gerard Romero of Catalan sports radio station Esports RAC Uno. As unlikely as this might first seem, at 36, the Brazilian has just become the oldest player to score in the Copa America finals. John Bennett is reporting on the Africa Cup of Nations for BBC Sport and has posted an interesting tweet in relation to Senegal's in-demand centre-back Kalidou Koulibaly. He said, Speaking with my family and friends, they don't ask me anything about a new club. They want me to play good with Senegal. This is the most important thing. Koulibaly is then perhaps another potential move we'll only hear more about following his involvement in this tournament. Neymar was reportedly set two conditions by Barcelona for a move back to the Catalans to go ahead. One condition was that he drops a court case against the club, the other that he publicly admits he made a mistake in leaving the club in the first place. Sport report that this is about to take place and that Neymar will release a statement in which he confirms moving to PSG was a mistake. Meanwhile, Neymar's Brazilian teammates, Arthur and Coutinho, have been talking up a return to Barca whilst on international duty at the Copa America. Neymar himself is of course out of the tournament with injury, but all the signs seem to suggest this deal is still potentially on, despite what would seem huge challenges in getting it through. Let us know if you think Neymar will be back at Barcelona in the comments. That's all the latest transfer news as it stands at the time we're making this video. Make sure you let us know what you think of the video in the comments, and links to all the articles discussed are in the description below for you as well.